My people, why Luis arrives doesn't hit as hard as Mookie Betts. What's up, my dinosaur people? No, just kidding, just kidding. This is very simple. With a, one picture, I can show you where's the team. Like, where is the exit speed? Where is the speed of the hands? Where is that go? If you don't got no speed in your hands, obviously, you don't going to have too much power. Now, but it's the other way is that you have to still barrel the ball. If you don't barrel the ball and you don't got no speed in your hands, obviously, you don't going to have that consistency plus power. And we're going to compare Arise with Mookie Bed because they both... If you see Arias and you see Mookie, you say Arias look like it's more stronger than than the Mookie. Mookie. And then you see Mookie, and then you're like, that he can hit 40 home runs, that he can be the MVP, mm -hmm. and he can do it. He's skinny dude, skinny dude, 180 pounds, and he can hit for power. He can be consistent. He get a lot of money. And we're gonna talk about this because it's right now it's a big topic. We arise because arise is about to turn to one of the biggest uh, contract later on because he got two silver sluggers. And the biggest question is like he will people will pay that much money for him because he's not that home run hitter. And you know what is what, what make players get paid good right now is the home runs. Yes. It's no player right now that you he gonna be probably the only one that he gonna get paid a lot without hitting 20 home runs. And the thing is, a lot of dinosaurs probably hate you for you saying that. Brother, it's no, it's not, it's not my truth. It's the truth of of the world. Like people want to see bombs. People, uh, if you think about RBIs and runs in when a home run with a home run. Okay, let's say I got one hit, but mine was a home run. You were just to first base. And you get probably one RBI because you, it was somebody in On second base. base. Yeah. But now with me hitting a home run, you know what happened? I get RBI and I get my own run. So I get into the home play by, by myself because and I hit a home run. Imagine if you have somebody on base just like the one hit the single. So you got two runs. So a home run, it can turn the game to a winning position quick. Now... The consistency of a rise in the right situation, it can turn the game to a different situation too. The thing is, you need that team. They got somebody on second base all the time. That you got other players that that you can move around because if if you just count in a rise uh, in the right situation, you want him to hit with people on base. Yes. You don't want a rise just in first base. That's just wasted time, wasted a bat. You want to have, have a rise when people are like getting on base so he can get the double or just a hit. And then you get RBIs. But he will give you more consistent. That's why you gamble the money. Like you're going to gamble on the every time he's going to be there, he's going to be somehow in the base and he's going to hit with people in base and we're going to get RBIs. But now when you're about to put too much money on this, that you will pay that much money. Like Martin would put, three, I don't know, 200 plus million dollars for our eyes to be the, the 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 face of the Marlins. And that's the mm -hmm. question. Mm -hmm. If you, or you will have to, or you will want a guy that probably hit 280, 290, but hit you like 30 home runs or 20 something home runs. I don't know. Man, I don't know if it's somebody out there. You know, it, I just saying idea because you got uh, Kyle Swarber, he hit, below 200 but he got oh, almost a lot of rbis and home runs because home runs you get rbis and you get runs so he got more runs and more rbis than a rise but then here we go swiver was in a better team than than marlins yes so he probably got more chances to to get more rbis and stuff like that Mar uh Arias is probably it's less hitting team you know so you had to pull a lot of things in your head and i obviously i want to rise in my team i want everybody want to rise in their team but i want it as a as a piece of the lineup i don't want it as a to be my superstar this is my superstar i don't think my I franchise that. now that's not I, for me in my opinion now let's just watch the picture 
So now I don't say that you don't want to be a rise and, and don't be a rise. I think he's doing really well for himself. A rise doing really well for himself. Oh, yeah. He just he's a guy that making millions. He's in the play in the big leagues. Uh if you wanna pick somebody to be, yes, probably because you want more money and more chances. You wanna hear more hormones. You wanna show people that you got some power. Maybe you your projection is gonna be a little bit more monetizer than arise. But now, if you are good to hit like arise, stay there. But you have to make sure that you get a lot of hits and you're gonna be arise. You're gonna be over 300 and you're gonna be consistent because arise don't steal, don't steal bases. No. You know, and then people say, no, it's cheeto, it's cheeto, it's cheeto. I, I get it. It's cheeto steal bases. He wrong. He and, was fast. And it's cheeto skinny. You, you know, and this idea of like, ah, You're too skinny. You're not going to be a home run hitter. Woo. Why? Why? It's no excuse. It's no excuse. It's a lot of ideas, a lot of information out here in, in the internet. This guy, he don't limit himself. He's 180 pounds. And now this guy is probably more than 180 pounds, and he believes that he just don't want to be a home run hitter. Mm -mm. And that's his head. That's And it worked for him. You know, I think we cannot teach our players to limit themselves and believe one thing because their body is not grow yet because of, you know, because they something they do good, right? Like, for example, we got kids that got three for three, but there were three grumbles between short and third base. And I was like, Are you happy with that? And they probably say, yes, but I will be mad because hmm. that's not how we work. And I know, I know it's good. Ah, ha, ha, good for you. Be done. But we need to get better, brother. We cannot just hit little pop up behind shortstop. We need to get better. We can only meet ourselves. We need to get power. We need to get like something solid behind the infield. Yes. And then after you believe that, then you can adjust to it. But at least you got that in your pocket that you can hit a home run anytime. Because if you put a rise, a rise can hit a home run anytime. He's not the guy that, ah, I want to be like a rise. No, I want to be like this guy just through hit little to the middle. He maybe think like that, but he can hit a home run still. You get what I'm saying? But now he's good at what he's doing, you know? And they both have the same swing, the same mechanic, the same angles with the barrel and stuff like that, the tilting, staying back, blah, blah, blah. We got that. That's the thing. You have to understand that. That's what we do over here. Understand elite mechanics. Elite mechanics, it happens. You know, you know, somebody, if you hit home runs or, or you hit home runs or not, it's about consistency with the barrel. Because if you think about it, This guy right here, bad speed is 60. Slow. It's the slowest in the MLB. But what are you going to do? If you go with the exit speed, this guy will not make it in the MLB. Or, or exit speed, no. Uh, bad uh, speed. Bad, bad speed. speed. And this guy right here is over 70. So he got bad speed. So now, then you don't want the, him in the, bat, in the MLB? Shh. It doesn't matter. It's about the technique. Some people believe that he got the fastest hands. <laughs> Because... They see the hands. That's, he has quick hands. Quick hands. <laughs> the thing fast is this. No. No, that's not fast. It's the technique allowed him to barrel more with more yeah. consistent. In there, in the zone. Right there. Uh -huh. He a lot of foul balls to third base. He's just very consistent. So he looks fast, but he know how to let it get deep, and he know how to turn the barrel, be on playing with the ball. So he make him seem like he's fast. Yeah. It just because he's consistent with the barrel. So if, like I say. Yes, you want bad speed, but at the same time, you want to be consistent with your barrel because if you bring bad speed and you don't barrel the ball, <clears throat> okay? So this is the only thing. They both moving forward. They're both in the right position, the same position. They're about to turn. They're about to turn the back leg. They're about to turn the barrel. What you can see right here, the stretch of Mookie is more bigger than our eyes. That's the only answer. As you can see, Arise, Arise don't don't pull back more. He just want to be more like, I'm here safe. I just going to try to hit that ball between the middle, shortstop. I maybe hit it early. I get a home run. Find the hole. Uh -huh. Maybe get a good pitch to hit a home run, you know. Yeah. But he's not trying there to swing super hard or at least hardest as he can be as a maintaining uh, elite swing. He want to just keep more about 
the swing than a harder swing. So as you can see, when you see them swinging, you see the turn, you see the barrel, you see the tilting, you see all that just like Mookie bet now, but Mookie in the other hand, he bring more consistent with home runs, but he bring probably a little bit more strikeouts. Now, what I suggest, I feel like if I got a kid, I want to teach them to get the max, get the max when they're young, make it the max, because I got a lot of friends like that. They never, <laughs> they never believe in themselves and they never hit a lot of home runs. But this is a guy that he believe in himself. That's the thing. But they want to be like a rise because they're thinking, no, I'm a rise hitter. I'm a, I'm just going to poke the ball behind shortstop three times and I'd be fine. Mm -hmm. Dude, a rise can hit a bump at any time. You get what I'm saying? Now, the rise find his spot like that? Yes. That you can be a rise? Yes. But now, what is your belief system over here? Do you believe system that is that you cannot hit a home run and you want to be hitting balls to the middle and then go three for three. So that's a tour, you, you maybe win the tournament at 12 you, and then you'll be happy with your coaches and all that. And then in the end of the, in the end of the results of your career is going to be end up early because you know, cannot slug, you cannot bring slugging. You don't want to be that guy. You want to be the guy that can hit a bomb anytime and bring consistency. And if you don't understand how to do it and you want to understand how to do it, go to our membership, LosCastroPos.com. The we, VIP. We get in videos all the time, and this is what we do. Let me show you a sample. As you can see, this is a guy that played for Astros. And this guy right here, he follow our program. He understand it. We work with him. But the way we can communicate with him and understand what he's doing wrong, what he's doing right, is by watching videos. We copy the best of the best. We had to move some type of way that is specific to bring some consistency. Now, you can see that right here, but it's a lot of work behind it. It's a lot of drills that we approve mm -hmm. to get that work and make you look better and make you see the ball better. The, the constant communication that you will be having with us is key right That's here because we're going to lead you there. We're going to have you. We're going to get you there. You know, it's like... The communication with us plus all the stuff that he say is key. It's the it's recipe. Key. And nobody else offered this. This is just the Castro no. Bros. Consistency. You. We just finished doing like three videos from three kids. Yeah. Where they send the videos uh, this morning. The VIP. The VIP ones. And it's all about like, yeah, work on this, work on that. And then you go work and then send us a video back. And then we keep working. We keep working. It's almost like because, okay, let's say, let's be honest. You go to a lesson. You go a lesson once a week because maybe that's that's it. That's all you can afford. That's probably that's the only way you can get to one lesson. With us, it's unlimited. Yes. The whole month. So you go work by yourself and you need some feedback. Guess what? Send, you record yourself with your phone. Send it to us and we got you. We got, right, work on this drill. Work on that. And more the kids are like got the tea in the backyard with a little net. Shush. Or they got a field right next to your house and you can work on those drills. And we can send you the drills that you need to work. And then you send us a video back. And this that's how we work. That's this, this is the future, people. This, you have to get used to this because sometimes we spend the money in the wrong places. And then if it's something that we do a lot, is analyze videos and any type of level. And it's a consistent work, it's a process, it's a drills, it's progression. All this it had to be there to get to what we wanted, okay? And these players have elite move, and we try to copy that. Yes. We're trying to get there. And the difference between those two players is right here, the stress. When he move forward, he don't got too much stress, so he's going to got less bass speed. And here, he's going to have more stress, so he's going to have more bass speed, more power. That's it. That's all they, that's the, that's that, that's the difference. But when they're about to swing, they bring the same swing, the same elite energy. And that's what we try to copy. Okay. So make sure you understand that. If you don't understand it, go to loscastropos.com. I promise you, we got that. I think, you think he need to, uh, Arias need to try a little bit more stress than Mookie? Yes. Like Mookie? Yes. But he what happened? To. But this is the deal. He already have some success. 
without doing a uh, monkey bed swing, like the stretch. Do you think he need to get out of there and try? You know what? Stay there. Say what he had. <laughs> I think he, he sh if he changed, he's hitting going to go down the hill. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to be in his head too much. Yeah, I think it's going to make him think too much. He's going to start, blah, blah, blah. you know, he don't gonna like that. He don't want to like to have three strikeouts. Yeah, no, uh, he, not, he don't want that. He's not used to that. He want to he wanna, he wanna keep hitting singles. Mm -hmm. And that's giving him a few millions. It's just, it's probably not going to give him the millions that he want, but it's still good. Still getting paid good. So stay there, puppy. You got, and you're going to have your contract and your chance. Stay there. But I would suggest you to be like Mookie Bet. If you if if you're a young player, if you're a young player, if you're a yes. young player, I will I will, you know, don't limit yourself. No. Don't limit yourself because it's if you see how many people like making a lot of money with just 25 home runs mm -hmm. and 280 or 270, and they're making money and they're still playing the game, right? They're still alive. So that tells you you want attention, you want some progression in your baseball career. You have to show some slugging. You have to show that you can send that ball far enough to get it over the fence or at least to the fence so you can get a double and be consistent in that kind of level. Yep. So then your opportunities grow. You know, it's I'm, I'm talking about more the perspective of you having opportunity to play this game longer. Now, Arais, on the other hand, is a guy that he worked hard for where he at. And showing two silver sluggers in a row, that's not easy. And now it's, we're talking about money because he's doing something impressive. Yes. But the reality is another one. It's another one. Yep. You want to bring some power some kind of way. So people, you have uh, to. people understand what you're doing with your swing, understand what is your purpose, uh, understand why he bringing less bass speed than Mookie. And maybe that can be your problem. You maybe don't bring in enough enough stretch, enough separation before you land. So maybe you are not creating enough power. So maybe that's what you need. Okay? If you want to be like a rest, go ahead. Get a little bit less stretch. And still, then, but you still have to do the same and mechanic. He still turn barrel and stay back, stuff mm -hmm. like that. So, people, thank you for watching. See you on the next one. Bye.